before he ended up facing charges. Uh. Post videos of himself to YouTube. Ooh, what a brand. <laughs>just start with um that comment is like the stupidest comment i've ever seen in my life and so many people say it and it drives me crazy and uh i say so many not that many but enough that it's concerning um so i'm just gonna give y'all the down low but to give y'all the truth about motorcycles or at least when we're talking about super sports so this is only directed towards super sports this right here is a zx10r it's like a, I don't know what year it is. It's like 24, 2011 plus ZX-10R. It is a race motorcycle brand. It's a race bike. You know, like racing. You're doing all that, right? That's, that's what it is. But it's street legal. It has headlights and blinkers and all this and that. 
it's just the American dream. It's 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 unreasonably fast vehicle for the road that shouldn't exist, but it does, and we're happy about it. Whoa. But its sole purpose is to race. It's to go fast. So when some weirdos driving Pentacales start commenting saying that I would never buy from my Spanish boy, they that one guy ride and he rides the motorcycles and he goes fast. The motorcycles are trash. They got ridden and they went fast. And did that everybody knows if you ride the red bike and you go fast, it's trash. Like, I don't understand where the people got this logic. They're like the guys, I saw a guy do this one time. This dude had an R1 and like he, he revved out a gear. And the bike blew up, and then he was talking about, you know, I, I may be mistaken. I could, I, this is a strong memory, but not strong enough that I know for a fact that I didn't make it up. <laughs> but if it's real, this guy basically blew up his R1 from revving it up, like running it through its gears all the way. And so after he got it rebuilt, he refuses to rev it up all the way. So he'll ride it, but he won't use his full RPMs. He'll stop at like 10K. He would refuse to let it <coughs> rev out to its higher RPMs like it's supposed to. Because that just blows up bikes. That's what that does. It was never made to do that. That's that's just what he's told himself now. Because because he had a bad motor that blew up, as some bad motors do. Or an old motor, or whatever, right? Something can fail at any point, right? But overall, right, if your motor's built right, and uh, it's been maintenance well and everything's fine, it's more than likely, the majority of the time, gonna be just fine to rip it. Uh, same with this other guy that uh, wheelied some bike and it blew up and he goes, yeah, just cause the wheelie, the wheelies blew it up. And nothing to do with his maintenance or whatever, right? But, you know, that's just what they said, and then they start saying that online, and then people start to believe that kind of stuff. They start to think that race bikes cannot be ridden hard, which is just crazy. People are just dumb. I don't know. I don't know how to tell you. You're just dumb. It's a race bike. So, now talking about the comments, like, if someone's commenting on my video and they're saying, like, <laughs> that, you know, they never buy from Riley because the bikes get ridden, it's about as dumb as it gets because... The only way you're going to know, or at least Riley's going to know, if any of his motorcycles that are used bikes that he bought used, and yes, they run, like, obviously he knows they run when he buys them, but he doesn't know if they ride good. We have no idea. <coughs> the only way you can tell if a super sport bike rides good is if you ride it. So everything at Riley's Power Sports gets ran through its gears and gets brought up to redline. All of them. Every last one of them, besides like the little bikes that don't really matter that are solid anyway, like who cares, this is Ninja 400, they're always going to work, it, as long as, if it's running it works, but these super bike, these big bikes, these ZX10s and R1s and anything that's a thousand or 600 cc, you gotta actually, we actually have to ride them, and I say we, Riley, you know, that's his deal, but I'm just saying we because I'm riding it, right, so that's why, but Anyway, actually have to put it through the RPMs to make sure they work. The only other way to know if the motor's good is to take the motor out of the bike, disassemble it, and check all the parts. And guess what? Nobody's going to do that. That's dumb. You know what you are going to do? You're just going to run it through its gears. Because that's way easier. Now, is it hard on the motor to uh, rev it up? Yeah. It's hard on the motor to start it, too. If you're trying to save your motor, guys, I'll give you a huge secret. Don't ever start it. Because guess what? Every time you start your motor, you're wearing it out, Braz. You're making it older, more worn out, ruining it. Every time you start it. Like, it's it's it's, it's extremes. Like, <clears throat> how about... How, how, how much are we trying to talk it here when it comes to like wearing out stuff? Because if you start a motor, you're wearing it out. All the parts are moving, the oil's moving, everything's moving. <coughs> if you ran a motor at idle for you know hundreds of years, eventually that motor's just gonna stop running because it'll be wore out. That's that's how that works. And yeah, if you redline it to the moon, it's gonna wear out faster, but it is intended for that. And these are sport bikes. Why did you buy a sport bike? Why are you talking about uh, not buying or buying a sport bike depending on if it's actually being ridden? 
It's a sports bike. It's supposed to go fast. If you're buying a sport bike to go slow, you're dumb. Don't buy a sport bike. Buy a cruiser because that's supposed to go slow. This thing's supposed to go fast. You shouldn't be buying something to go fast or something that goes fast to go slow. Shouldn't be doing that. That doesn't make any sense. It's also not even really healthy. These bikes need to get revved out. They're not made to run at low RPMs. They're made to run at high RPMs. So it's not very healthy. You'll get carbon buildup on your spark plugs and uh, on your uh, the valves and stuff. And you'll have all kinds of problems simply because you don't rev it out. Anyway, and those type of people that comment that kind of stuff are the kind of people that Riley doesn't want to sell bikes to anyway. <laughs> also, it, just again, it's a used motorcycle. This thing has 16,000 miles on it. The previous owner most likely rode it how I ride it. For the last 16,000 miles. And the few times it's on my video and I put, you know, I guess it made it super high, <coughs> like 500 miles on it, you really think that's a definitive on how this bike's going to last long term versus the 600 or 16,000 miles that somebody else already put on it? You would be wrong, Braz. I mean, I know my Braz know that, but you know, just saying that for the audience. Since the audience is Braz, but I know my Braz know this. It's for those other guys that don't know this. Or maybe there's a few Braz that don't know this as well. I mean, you're learning to date. missed it because uh, my camera I just had it off but this Dodge cut me off he was at the end of this line he just turned over and cut me off and I, I wanted to cry about it and throw a fit and then I realized I was a man and no longer do I care yeah these sport bikes are made to be ripped on uh, it's better off if uh, Riley gets one test it, runs it through gears, runs it to our to red line, <clears throat> and knows that it doesn't have an underlining issue which will expose itself when you actually ride the bike. <coughs> this bike is going to get sold at some point here, probably this week, because these things are hotcakes. And whoever gets it, wholeheartedly, we're not going to worry about this bike, because it's solid. It runs great. has no issues. And even then, Riley actually does a 30-day 30 30 day guarantee on like most things that could go wrong with it. Name a used dealership that does a 30-day guarantee. I'll wait. It's just Riley. Just save you all the time. Riley is pretty confident when we sell something that it, for its engine-wise, that it's going to run just fine. Unless you do something crazy. Oh, and there is limits to beating on the bike, right? So, like, if I, like, held down the throttle on a red line, like, you know, red lining, sitting still for, like, 30 seconds, yeah, I wouldn't want to buy from that dealership either. That's a little stupid. But as for, like, ripping down the highway near the top end of six, that's a lot different. Because the bike's actually getting airflow and moving. But, yeah, Braz, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just think it's wild. I think it's super uneducated to sit there and say that, say, say that uh, beating on the bikes and should buy from here because they actually ride them and know that they're good. It's the only way to test used bikes is to actually ride them, and the only way to test super sports is to actually use all the RPMs. Hopefully you feel more educated today, Perez. 
if you didn't already know this, but most of you should. <coughs> but for the few that did, now you know, it's a race bike. It's actually made to go fast and crazy. <coughs> Sorry, brother, keep coughing, friends. I'm just coming off of being sick, so get the little coffee coughs. Hold on, friends. Without a tune. Maybe even tuned yet. I can tell because of that, that lag at first. Let's see if I can replicate it. That right there. It like does nothing but fall on its face until like 7-8, then it lights up. It shouldn't do that. It's probably spraying too much fuel at first. Too much fuel, not enough air, and then once it starts moving a little faster, it starts to get enough air, then it just lights up. With tuning, you'll lean it up, and this should just be ripping right off the get-go. Of course, you gotta wait for a little bit, right? I mean, it's not gonna rip between one, two, three, four-ish, right? But around five, six, you should be moving. Oh, Granny! No blinker, she was mad at me for <laughs> trying to go on around. <laughs> oh, oh, granny, why you gotta be mad at me, granny? <clears throat> well, Braz, I guess I'm just gonna end the video here, Braz. I gotta go up here to this little store up here, Braz, and then and I, yeah, I just, you, I don't want you to come with me. This is long and short of it. But I, but I love y'all. And there's a, a sickle coming behind me. It looks like a duke. Or, I don't know what it is. It's red, and it's naked. Anyway, yeah, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, bye.